The IMF has commended Egypt's economic reform program, citing higher economic growth than forecast at 4.2%. The Bretton Woods Institution expects a drop in inflation to 12% from the current staggering 32% by the end of the year. However, the devaluation of the Egyptian pound and cuts in subsidies have had its toll on Egyptians. Experts are calling for more social projects to the low-income citizens. We have Takaful and the Karama Fund, which covers 2 million people. But we want more people to be covered because Egyptians have endured the tough austerity measures without revolting and have been supportive in spite of the huge burden. The state social security services need to include health and education. Finalizing the health insurance scheme will be vital for the citizens' well-being. Unemployment levels are still at a high of 12 percent. The IMF says Egypt needs to create 700,000 new jobs per year. This will only come by increasing the number of newly established companies. The rate is still lower than competitive emerging markets. I expect this to improve soon because the foreign investments are starting to pour into the country, especially after adopting the new investment law and the bankruptcy law, which provide guarantees and protection to investors. More companies are being established and this will increase job opportunities. The IMF says the government succeeded in trimming the budget deficit, increasing tourism revenues and remittances, and rebuilt the country's foreign exchange reserves. Now it needs to increase revenue and cut expenditure in order to narrow the budget deficit further and lower public debt. The IMF has forecast a positive outlook for Egypt's economy. It has therefore given the green light for the delivery of another $3 billion out of the $12 billion loan to the North African country. Yes, Hakim for CGTN, Cairo.